Hey everyone, thanks for attending my podcast. Uh, this is going to be a whispered podcast, and uh, this is uh, particularly for the reason that um, it's nighttime here, and I don't want to wake anyone up. So, um, what I want to talk about today is uh, the fantasy realm and how that interacts with factual information from history books and why that's important in math- mathematical computation uh, with the Texas Instrument count, uh, Calculators. Um, now, uh, back in the day, um, it was around 852 AD. Uh, there was a an Indian place called Calcutta and there was a marketplace and there were so many people around uh, they had on helmets that were made of towel uh, like a towel wrap so it was kind of like a sandwich and then there were also uh, I mean, a bunch of people that were pointing at each other, talking to each other, using their hands a lot. And, um, I mean, everything seemed like it was going fine. They'd carry baskets on their heads. And um, one of the amazing things about these people carrying baskets on their heads was that uh, they covered up um, the first forms of demons that had uh, singular horns. And it's similar to a minotaur, but kind of nothing like it. Uh, more like a sitar uh, playing gentleman uh, that you see uh, charming the snakes, usually more so with a, some type of flute. And so when they're charming the snakes, uh, what happens is they develop kind of a crush on life itself and then the horns protrude from their heads and so then after that they realized that no one's gonna like that uh, people preferred uh, servitude solitude they preferred more of a uh, they, they preferred more of an idolatry basic type of bitch and so these men usually bearded and uh, white hair, gray hair, um, hair coming out of their nostrils, uh, oftentimes they had these things embedded in their heads. They, they, what happened was there was horns that would protrude from their heads and they put baskets on it, big, large baskets. And if you open these baskets, they would either be filled with tomatoes, apples, uh, usually anything red. And uh, it, 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 I would say it was incredible, but it was more like the Knights of Sarabia. Um, if you're aware of who that is or where that comes from, it's a, sort of a Minecraft situation. And it reminds me of a friend of mine uh, named Kent. Uh, he's a really cool guy, and I think he would pair up well with someone that has... Uh, the same understanding of the historical backgrounds and so that's why you know just uh, in mention of him uh, I hope he's still wearing white t-shirts and keeps his glasses on and uh, I mean I think he wears glasses I don't remember <coughs> anyways uh, yeah it's really cool I'm bringing it back to old times it reminds me to let you guys know about uh, 19... 50 BC. Uh, This was before Calcutta was ever truly a bright presence in the spiritual realm. Um, There was first and foremost a lot of Japanese and Chinese influence involved that brought down the pot of bolts uh, that would go up into the sky. It was like looking up into the sky and you'd be like, oh my god, this person's gonna jump. This person's gonna fucking jump from the top of the building. 
And uh, the thing is, is that as everyone's expecting it, it doesn't happen because it was only a play. It was just a situation that was created entirely in the figments of imagination. And when people have a groupthink kind of thing, they commonly believe that everything they think uh, it's going to transfer that energy toward that person. But then the person, they have to accept what it is they're going to do with that and henceforth in a, a fantasy world uh, type of thing there's sort of like a satyr or like a saturn like uh, planetary ring around a person's uh, uh, the, the center chakra horn uh, uh, the crown horn actually and so when the crown horn is accepted for what it is just like uh, in 850 uh, something uh, what was the name of the or the date that I said? I gotta start writing these things down. But yeah, it, it's something like that. I'm pretty sure uh, I know what I meant. And uh, just don't bother me about it in the comments or anything. And so, um, and don't email me about it either. Okay. The interesting, getting back to the interesting part, it, it's about the, uh, the that central horn. And it's kind of like it creates a spiral, and then it can go downward, it can go upward to the to the uh, the courtyard, or it can go up uh, above the courtyard to the to the tree level, then to the sky level, and above that the stratosphere, then the thermosphere, and then you get above the thermosphere, and you're at the sociosphere. And that's what actually keeps a lot of people trapped into these historical places, historical ideas, ideas that are just ancient and uh, and it corresponds so much with the fantasy world. And and I mean, you can't blame people for having uh, an army of snake charmers or an army of uh, you know uh, squads of uh, a law necessarily and you can't really blame the law for what they do and if you think about all these terms together it forms another term that we've all come to know as squad of law and if you uh, if you take the time to look that up you'll realize that it has penetrated deep into the uh, the sector of the mind that uh, formulates with our genetic code whether it's xx or xy and it's kind of like the sectors that you see in star fox where uh, there's fox and it's kind of like you know you see fox standing there spinning on top of this like a disc sort of and if any of you have played super smash bros you'll know exactly what i'm talking about and um so those sectors are Kind of like a vending machine you have a whole bunch of things to choose from the spirals you know the springs the spirals downward upward you know and usually what everyone's trying to do is they're just trying to get their hands into the vending machine pull it out and then you know uh, that's 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 basically the treat that's a treat for everyone and so uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I wish I could uh, keep going with this, but uh, again, we're on radio time and not standard time uh, UTC uh, FP3. And so with that uh, being said, uh, everyone have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful morning, evening, and uh, Christmas holidays. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs>